Few things compare to the intensity and passion felt when falling in love anew. Emotionally tinted glasses can be thick enough to let you overlook just about anything questionable about this shiny new interest. No, unfortunately, it doesn't last forever. As the relationship starts to get more serious, emotions stabilize and those overlooked things sharpen a bit in clarity. So those problems that arise later on in the relationship are usually ones that were there in some form since the beginning. Not to worry, some conflict and disagreement is normal, even healthy in a relationship. The frequency and degree of the problems determine if this is normal or a flashing red sign of an imminent end. Interested in what these signs are? Come in right up. 12 early signs your relationship might not last. 1. Your relationship is solely about the romantic pull. Romantic attraction to your partner is important in any relationship, being part of what forms a solid bond, not the entirety of it. A healthy, strong relationship also consists of having something in common with your partner other than the romance. Without any similar interests, goals, shared experiences, or any other kind of common ground to stand on, the foundation is weak with little to build on. Like the little pig with the straw house, it can collapse easily. Two, you don't like their friends. Ever heard that saying? Tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. There's certainly some truth to that. While it's perfectly healthy and fine for you and your partner to have your own friends, a problem arises when there is an active dislike for each other's social circles. As friends act as a reflection of the person, this implies that on some level, you may not actually like the person you're with. This could be an early sign that the two of you are not well matched. Three, you spend too much time together. On the social flip side, is your partner the only person you see to the exclusion of everyone else? Spending too much time together with your partner may eventually erode your own sense of self. Sure, saying someone is your whole world sounds romantic. However, if taken at face value, this actually implies dependence on them for your identity and happiness. This is not healthy nor sustainable. Or, your relationship feels one-sided. It's one thing when your partner tells you they love you and care for you, but another when they don't show it in their actions. Do you usually start the conversation or plan your dates together? Do you feel you're giving much more than you're getting back? While relationships are definitely not competitions, both you and your partner should be doing the work to hold the relationship together. Five, you feel controlled. Do you notice more and more that your opinions or decisions are constantly overridden? Or maybe a decision was made without your input and the expectation is for you to happily follow along without a word. This may mean that your partner doesn't respect you or care about your feelings. Healthy relationships require mutual respect. So being in a relationship with this kind of imbalance does not bode well. This person can change this by learning to value your opinion and stop being so controlling. Six, you can't be yourself around them. Yes, we've all heard and probably know that first impressions are important. We dress more carefully, put some extra shine to our smiles and filter our personalities like an Instagram pic. So what about the second impressions or third or hundredth or two hundred? By that point, should the relationship be healthy and strong, we shouldn't need to put on the first impression suit or perform all that prep before hanging out with our partner. If you still feel like that's required in your serious relationship, this is a pretty key sign there's gonna be trouble ahead. Seven, you don't feel accepted. Your partner feeds a constant flow of criticism to you for your perceived flaws, saying it's for the better. The critique is to change every aspect of you from the way you dress to the way you speak. It's like they want a different person than the one in front of them. You may initially justify going along with it to salvage the relationship, but the reality is you're sacrificing the wonderful, unique, and valuable you for a person who doesn't see your worth. You deserve to be treated like the gem you are and not mistaken for a lump of coal that needs dressing up. Eight, you fight all the time. Occasional conflict handled correctly is a healthy and normal part of a relationship as it helps couples understand each other's differences better. If the conflict is constant and volatile, however, especially early in the relationship, this is a clear sign of incompatibility. All the energy from the relationship is sapped from arguing with no chance of growing closer as most conversations turn into a screaming match. It's not healthy and it's definitely not sustainable for a long-term relationship. Nine, 
you don't trust each other. Healthy, lasting relationships require mutual trust. Trust allows closeness, honesty, and vulnerability to occur, which are all things that strengthen a bond. A lack of trust in a relationship isn't something that will fix itself if ignored. This can look like many things, including checking their phone on the sly or frequently calling their friends to check on them. Issues will repeatedly return to haunt you until one of these outcomes occur. You learn to trust each other or the relationship ends since there's no room to grow. 10. They're regularly mean to other people. Were you shocked when your sweet, soft-spoken partner was unreasonably impatient and rude to the waiter? It's a definite cause for concern when your partner acts one way towards you and another towards someone else. Do they regularly act like Jekyll and Hyde, being kind to you, then turning around and yelling at the driver, the waiter, the person in front of them in line? If the answer is yes, then you should be wary. They might simply be putting on a facade to win you over. 11. They're passive-aggressive. When your partner is passive-aggressive towards you, it means that there's an issue with the two-way communication in your relationship. It's perfectly fine to be frustrated or upset with each other sometimes. Having open communication about it and approaching the problem constructively is a healthy response. Making backhanded comments, avoiding direct or clear communication, sarcasm, playing the victim, or holding grudges against one another isn't going to do any good for anyone. And it will be the death of your relationship if it continues. And 12. The timing isn't right. Sometimes, no matter how much you want to be with someone, the timing just won't allow it. You might be at different stages in your lives and are on different paths for the future. Maybe you're not ready yet, or you want to put your studies and career first. Perhaps you're still getting over an ex. Whatever the reason may be, if the timing of it all just isn't in your favor, it might mean the tragic end of your relationship. Perfection is a myth, so no relationship is perfect but there are just some things that we can't compromise on. We often settle for less in a relationship than we require to have a fulfilling one. So hopefully we're learning that our time is valuable and we'll watch out for signs like these ones to treat ourselves better. Have you seen signs like these before? What was the result? How did that result come about? Is there something currently happening that's similar? Share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and let's keep the relationship between you and the Psych2Go community lasting by liking, sharing, and commenting or subscribing. We'll see you soon.